This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, first day of the week, June the 26th, and we're almost wrapping up the month of June. <clears throat> The Dow is uh, in a sell mode in the Chapman Way methodology. Uh, we had two Roman candles. We've been underneath them uh, for at least four or five sessions. And the nine period moving average is still strong, but technically we are in a sell mode in the daily chart. Nothing yet in the weekly chart, still in a, lay in, in a peak D with a left side, right side price time match. That's that symmetry going to the high that was made back in December. Just missed the 34,712 high. And we'll see what happens by the end of the month. We're looking at the S&P, which didn't really even generate a sell signal yet. And it's holding quite nicely. It's up 10 at 43.59. You can see this in the day, the nine period moving average is still way above the 40. You remember I said it takes a while for it. Either there's just a smash to the downside, which we haven't had, or it takes a period of time before we see whether that green turns pink by going under the 14 period moving average. QQQ looks even better. The QQQ right now holding very nicely up to a 364.60, holding the uh, nine period exponential moving average, which is way above the 14, hasn't even touched that 14 period moving average. This is very good action. Weekly charts still very strong, IWM, Russell 2000. Remember, I think this is a process that we're going through. The Russell 2000 up $1.40 at uh, 181.95. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting because that, like the Dow, is technically in a sell mode. That's just a description. It doesn't mean, oh, my God, sell mode is going to go from 180 down to 170. It just says that's the designation right now. And the weekly chart doesn't look all that great. Now, this is going to be very interesting because gold tried to rally earlier on. It's still up almost five at 1934. But that that uh, action that I said was the 200-period moving average magnet that should be hit in the 1936 area. Well, we're at 1934 right now. And if you're looking at the crude oil, crude oil, um, try to rally. Uh, it, it's up 34 cents, but it's not really strong. The TLT has gone to a leg D. And that says, watch this closely. We're still in a range. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. A lot to talk about. See you in a few moments. Basil Chapman, coming up in, an, in a moment.